Welcome back to another edition of SoCal Sense. I'm Jeff. I'm Luke. Jeremy Fragrance. Welcome back, Jeremy. Thank you. <laughs> so it's been like, what, three years since yeah, we about last three years. did a video together? And we're going to introduce you to some new releases. Some you've probably possibly have smelled, some you might not have smelled. When a human does this, it means he's looking forward to something. So I was looking forward to this. Let's, let's go. Let's do it. All right. So the very first one is... Don't, the, like, don't tell me. I, I, say, right. I, I close my eyes and say if it's good. All right, here you go. Okay. Sexy, clean, but like I smelled it already, but sexy, clean, common. Sexy, clean, common, so. Cool, this is uh, the new Lacoste Blanc. Oh, oh intense. Oh. Very good. Yeah, it reminds me of like a Diorum cologne, but with an orange juice oh. vibe. He knows what he's talking about. He's Diorum right. cologne is a citrusy based fragrance with a bit of a flower vibe. But yeah. this is more sharp, sexy. Yeah. It's not just like yeah. a thrown in citrus notes together. Right. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, Great. Right. The Orum Cologne reminds me of uh, like a frozen lemonade. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, yeah. But this one's more orange. This one's so. more, yeah. Very cool. Yeah. Great. Cool. So this next one. The next, next one. Mm, good. Wow, that's also very good. A bit more unique than the first one and has a strong Dior Sauvage vibe. But it's not Dior Sauvage, but very strong Dior Sauvage vibe. Mm, I think it's better than, than the previous one, sadly. Sadly, because it smells a bit like Dior Sauvage, but it's pretty good. Great, and this is the new Coach Green. Coach Green. And that smells a bit like Dior Sauvage, the original yeah. Coach for Men. This one has a Kiwi note, which is oh, really? fascinating. Mm -hmm. There's not a lot of Kiwi note fragrances. Mm -hmm. Interesting. Let's go with the next one. This is the favorite for now. All right. That is interesting. Kiwi. You also smell some of them first time, Luke. This is my first time with all these, yeah. Ah, great. Yeah. All right, next one. Super sexy. But I know it, wow, this smells so much like Carolina Herrera CH Man. So much like that. <laughs> wow, it's like a clone. <laughs> Carolina Herrera CH Man is what I'm smelling here. It gives me a 3 a.m. by Sean John vibe too uh -huh. as well. Hmm, I would prefer the previous one, the Coach Green, because it's citrusy, sexy, fresh. But so, this is also fantastic. So this one is called Intelligent Carbon, and it's by a famous YouTuber named Derek, who does more plates, more dates, which is a huge fitness channel. <laughs> of course, oh. I know him. Yeah. Ha, Derek, you know what this smells like. <laughs> it smells like CH Man. Power baby. <laughs> there we go. Okay. In case some people don't, don't didn't get that vibe yet. Yeah. Oh, yeah. All right, next yeah. one. Cool. And the next one, let's see. It's gonna be a surprise. Here we go. All righty. Very interesting. It's clean, fresh, but it's too much of a... I'm just going to say floor cleaner vibe. <laughs> it has this pungent lemon note. Not citrus is lemon too, but it has a bit of a lemony floor cleaner vibe. But it's still clean, fresh. I think it's just a bit too much of that lemon vibe. Well, and this is Pacific Chill by Louis Vuitton. And you were wearing that. I am wearing it right now. And I gave him a compliment, I think, when I smelled it. So it smelled good on him. Just now like this, it's a very strong citrus vibe. Yeah. Yeah. Cool. Interesting. All right, you ready for the next one? Yes. Okay. It's the final one? No, one more. Oh, okay. Oops. <laughs> I'm handing it to not your hand. Very sexy aggressively sexy and deep aggressively sexy and deep hmm would be the second place for me i like okay. it this is explorer platinum by mont blanc mm -hmm. it's the Good. newest mont, uh, explorer it's different it doesn't smell anything like no like explorer, yeah, explorer. <laughs> it's its own unique thing great all right we got one left all right Last of the bunch. And one on the right. <laughs> and one on the left. One on the front, one on the back, yes. one on the... <laughs> Alrighty. Here we 
go. Oh, okay. No. Yeah. Uninteresting. <laughs> I wouldn't wear that and I wouldn't suggest it to wear. It has a bit of a bad boy vibe, but there are many other ones like that fragrance by Derek could be also a sexy bad boy, confident man smell. It's not so interesting to me. And this is the new Elysium O Intense by Roja Parfums. Mm. Interesting, yeah. Yeah, this is different. That's a strange opening, I don't know what it is. It's a rhubarb and lime. Oh, okay, that's what it is. I know when they sent me that fragrance, when I knew, oh, there's the new expensive Roja Dorf, intense, fresh, because it says O. Oh. I was a bit brainwashed and I uh, did like it a little bit, but now not knowing it, that's interesting how I chose to not like it because I was not informed. Yeah. So this means something about this DNA and that is good to know also for your audience. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So your favorite was Coach Green? Yeah, and, and Lacoste. And Lacoste. Lacoste. Yeah. You know what, I spray this on the left and the Coach on the right. Okay. So I know how long lasting which one is. And then I make a memory picture so I know which one was. And what's funny is those are two of my favorite fresh releases of the year so far, is mm -hmm. Lacoste O Intense and Coach Green. Very cool. What do you think? When Chanel brings their new men's fragrance, which we don't know, if, at least I don't know when that will be. How should that smell? How do you think? Would I, I know new Chanel fragrance smell? Nothing like blue to Chanel and nothing like Allure Homme. So Chanel's so, usually good at creating their own style for the moment. So hopefully they could do something oriental, but I feel like Chanel likes to use the French ingredients and there are not so many oriental <laughs> notes in France. Yeah. But what could they do? Something intensely woody at least. Possibly again with some lavender vibe. No. Yeah. We will see. And I was talking to Chanel rep earlier in the year and they told me we should expect it in the fall, so. Oh, wow. Cool. So fingers crossed it actually comes true. <laughs> Who knows, but it's supposed to be fall 2023, new line from Chanel. If this is long lasting. Yeah, it, it lasts good on me, so. Great, great smell. Very good smell. Yeah. Lacoste Blanc, I like anyways. Yeah. The whole line of Lacoste Blanc is mm -hmm. great. Every one of them. Also the Blanc Intense. Yeah, this is Blanc Intense. Eau Fresh came out last year, which was my favorite fragrance from last year. Wait, they have this, they have the original Blanc, and then they have the, the other Blanc, which, which is Parfum. Uh -huh. And then Blanc Eau Fresh, um, which is like a pickled ginger citrus fragrance. Hmm. And then this one came out this year. So they've had three back-to-back -back years. It's good stuff. Cool. Okay. Friends right here. <laughs> yes. And see you again, guys. Thank right. you for watching this video. That was old school YouTube fragrance. Yes. Right? <laughs> Check out Jeremy, Jeremy Fragrance on everything. <laughs> yes. <laughs> and is your song on Spotify? It's on Spotify. Yes, it is. Check on his song iTunes on Spotify. Too. Luke's got new music on Spotify too. Regards. And regards. <laughs> Bye guys. Bye. All right. The, the signature. Regards, guys.